Thank you so much for watching Tone Junkie TV. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I am, uh, well, I'm, I'm, it's me. I'm HW. <gasps> this whole I, time? It was me the whole time. Wow. It was me the whole time. Suze? I've, I've been Suze the whole time. How you so. doing? I'm doing great. Ready for Christmas. Suze, I am so ready for Christmas. And that's why we're here to discover the true meaning of Christmas. I was hoping you'd say that. Because contrary to popular belief, it's not all about profiling the world. Oh. It's actually about... Maybe a little bit of generosity. Uh huh. Maybe uh, uh, maybe a little bit of giving. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of that Christmas spirit is about giving some gifts away. I love that. You know what I'm saying? Like the gift of the little baby Jesus. <laughs> Bow your heads, close your eyes. No, okay. <laughs> Guys, we made uh, we made an incredible free profile pack yeah. of a really great amp that you can see right here. It's a 1966 Gibson Discoverer Tremolo. Hmm. It's it's the big brother to the Skylark. Okay. And. Uh, and it's fantastic. It's fantastic. And uh, it's really, it's, it's, a, it's a cool little amp. I mean, look, a lot of these old amps, uh, they just did a thing and they kind of do that thing. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you some of the quirks about this amp. You want to get it dirtier. You can't do that unless you ride the, the volumes way up. Because you can, you can crank the loudness, uh -huh. but, the, trem, or, but the, uh, uh, the treble and the bass, if you leave them low, the amp's just clean the whole way up. Oh, interesting. So there, it really is three gain knobs. And that, that's actually all the old EQs are. It's, a gain, it's, a, it's one gain knob, and then you have basically high and low pass filters. And so you're just taking out signal when you move them down. Okay. They're all the way up at 10. you got to crank them. So if you want to get rid of the EQ, you kind of put them at 10. Other than that, it's just high and low pass filtering. Oh, I gotcha. So it's just okay. removing signal. So mm. max gain and an amp when it doesn't have But it also has a great tremolo, which mm -hmm. we can't profile, but it's okay, we put it in here. And uh, with a little HW and Tone Junkie magic, um, we gave you kind of a normal and bright version, even though those don't quite exist in the amp. Right. But you can, uh, you, you, can, you can make some adjustments on the Kemper to sort of give you two different flavors. So, mm -hmm. Suze, so let's play a couple of these flavors right here and uh, show the people. That was uh, B1, here's B3, and it's with a Strat, so it's not terribly, uh, uh, I'll give you a little tremolo on this. It's not terribly dirty, but it'll be dirtier with humbuckers. We'll try that in a minute. <laughs> Did I mention it's free? It doesn't cost anything. It doesn't cost yeah. anything. Uh -huh. So just just you, try it. Go download it. The link is below. <laughs> Suze, let's uh, let's show them this a um, little more of a normal channel. Same mm -hmm. thing. We can hear the EQ difference, and then we'll switch to a humbug humbuggy guitar. Seuss, humbucker, humbucker guitar, let's hear it. I'm digging these small amps lately. Yeah, they, they really nice. are. They really are great. Here's this thing turned up all the way. This is kind of the most gain you can get out of it. We should do a whole video just on like small amp tone. Yeah. Because there's really some great totally vintage amps that we've done, man. Like, yeah. I'm just looking across this room. The Magna Vox ones, mm -hmm. you know, the Magna Tone. Um, obviously, there's like Princeton's. The Blues Junior was my favorite last week. Those last, yeah. That's um, mm -hmm. This thing, uh, I got another great Gibson amp coming the up. The AC-10. 
don't there's sleep a, on it. Don't <laughs> don't sleep on it. These old some of these small amps they have a really great sound. Um, the, the this thing really to me has that small amp sound because a lot of that small amp sound I feel like is like an old Jensen speaker. Yeah. Because they all used Jensens at the time. This one included. You mm -hmm. know. So this is a. Uh, um, it's got like an old Jensen like you might find in a Fender. Um, right, like yeah. you'd find in a, in a, a Tweed Deluxe mm -hmm. um, or kind of a similar amp like that. It's kind of what you find in some of the, the Magnavoxes and stuff. Okay. They're, they're awesome. But uh, anyway, here, that, was, that was the most kind of gain you can get out of it. Mm -hmm. um, you can obviously uh, boost it up. And uh, what do we got here? Here's a little, uh, well, here's a Kemper drive. Try that. I mean, here's like really all you can get out of it. They're just small amps just have a great a lot of times voice for recording yeah you know whereas focused. like kind of the more uh you know in general i find that the more you try to make one amp do the less it does any of those things really amazing uh, the now there's traits, there's yeah. of course there's exceptions mm -hmm. you know like the the friedman be uh, uh you know amp a lot of people would say right. well no that's the best blah 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 you know the, the clean's amazing and it's the hbe channel and the or the uh, the, I forget what they call it. Anyway, mm -hmm. they get a new clean channel. Now. Look, I mean, there's a lot of great amps, but it seems like some of these small amps, you just get a unique thing out of it that you don't get anywhere else. Yeah, it's more like making another amp sound like that would be pretty hard. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's a choky, thing. small, and it's sort of the mm -hmm. sound of a lot of rock and roll because uh, you just put a little bass on top of it. You don't even notice that the low end's gone yeah. or that the low end isn't, isn't so heavy in there. Mm -hmm. And it just sounds uh, stellar. So I've been, uh, well, I've been Santa Claus. <laughs> He's back. This whole time. And uh, this has been the Suze. Suze, I'm going to hand you uh, my oldest git fiddle, and oh. we'll play that on the outro. Can you guess what it is? Uh, old, like the the one you've had the longest? It's no, it's the oldest, like the earliest year. Oh, 335 casino. You'll find out right here, only on Tone Junkie TV. I did get something older though, just recently. I got the oldest oh. thing I ever got. It's a 1954 amp. Oh, wow. It might be a 55. I'll have to double check. But it's, cool. it's older than 57, which was my previously oldest thing. But this is my oldest guitar. I gotcha. Okay. And it's this one right here. Can't wait to see it. HW. Suze. Out. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.